the accessibility and the ability to, to make music now <laughs> uh, is so, you know, every, anyone, can, anyone who wants to can do it, you know, it's cheap, it's easy. And purists argue that that's not a good thing, but I think it's a good thing. I consider myself to be an artist more than I do a musician because I can't really, I can't read music and I don't know notes and which is strange like I guess because I'm kind of like the guy who writes the songs in the band or at least has the ideas for the songs. I just don't have a very musical background and the way that I look at writing music and writing songs is very much from like you're making a painting or a sculpture or something you know where it's like you know you're just putting together these elements and you can kind of look at it or listen to it and tell when it's working. Inspiration for me comes from a lot, you know, a million different things. It's rather than any one thing. So I think any one song or any one album is made up of all of your influences from different parts of your life. And the music that you create or the art that you create is, that, is, you know, if you're making art or music that has honesty and integrity, comes from your life experience. So, yeah, I think that the music that you make is a reflection of who you are at that time in your life. So. From here to I mean, I, I definitely come from a very, you know, like a, a fairly spiritual place in the way that I write music. It's not, it's not like a deep meditation for me, but I know in my heart if, if a song is working or if, if I like a melody or if I'm really feeling it. And if I don't feel that strong connection to the music that we're making, then we won't release it. Yeah. days of music having the ability to change the world are still around but I think that it is the most unifying art form for sure and the ability to affect people's lives that it has is really totally unparalleled. Soul Pancake, subscribe!